Hey, Eric, I want to go ahead and show you the damage done to this business because it's easy to miss. As we're taking a look right now, you can see these holes. They're oh so tiny, but I got to tell you, they have to replace all of this. That's the extent of the damage done. Of course, it's not just this window. We can see the damage done to this door as well and, of course, done to the other window. And I was able to speak with another business just steps away. They were mentioning to me that just a month ago they had part of their chain link fence stolen. They had to figure out another alternative to that. Either way, I can tell you this business here just wants to know why they were targeted in the first place. Let's go ahead and take you out to some surveillance footage. Video capturing the moments just yesterday after midnight when a hooded man with a scooter walks by and moves toward the business. A closer look shows the man pulling out what looks like a gun and aiming it at the shop. The business owner's wife tells us it's a Mediterranean restaurant and they are still not sure what hit their door and windows, believing a BB gun was possibly used. Sacramento police say it's too early to determine what type of investigation this is. The wife also told me she does not recognize the man in the video and says the door and front windows will need to be replaced. We watched as a worker entered the business and saw the holes for the first time, unaware something had happened. It's been four days, so I know nothing, you know, nothing at all. And I didn't notice it because it looks very small at first, but you see the glass. It gets me really, like, like anxious, but in a, in a way that's still, like, keeping me aware. You know, I got to be on my, like, toes pretty much because this is a small business. Anyone can walk in here. Now, Eric, as we mentioned, these holes are oh so small. They're hard to see. And I can tell you, even though they look small from this perspective, they have to replace all of this. And they're still trying to figure out what exactly hit the store as well as those other windows. And that's right. why right now they're calling on the community. They're asking anyone to come forward with information that might help with this investigation. Reporting live from Oak Park, covering local news that matters. Claudette Stefanian, Fox 40 News.